my lady actually just stopped taking her birth control. Yeah. She thinks that since she stopped taking her birth control, it's caused her to gain weight. I think it's all the cake I've been hiding her pill in. <laughs> She loves dessert. I don't want to be a dad, man. I don't want to be a dad. I want to be a stepdad. That's what I really want to be. I want to be a stepdad. That's where it's at, right? Kid turns out okay. You're like, yeah, I helped raise him. He's a complete moron. You're like, fuck, don't look at me. He's not my kid. Talk to his dad already. I just want to have a beautiful wife and kids so people are sad when I die. <laughs> That's all you ever hear about. You're like, hey, you hear about Greg? He passed away. It's so sad. He had such a beautiful wife and kids. You never hear about the guy with an ugly wife and kids. You never hear about that guy. You hear about Billy? He passed away. Well, his family was ugly. Probably for the best. <laughs> I gotta get it together though, man. I got to a scheduled a dentist appointment last week for the first time in six years. Yeah, so I flossed my teeth last week for the first time in six years. Yeah, when I woke up on the bathroom floor after passing out from a loss of blood, I realized that I missed my dentist appointment. I went to the real doctor recently. Yeah, the real doctor. This is what he said. He says, I got the sad seasonal affective disorder. That's what he says. Okay, drug dealer. <laughs> the seasons, that's what we're picking now. All the horrible shit that's going on in the world. It's the seasons. Like, we got a water shortage in half the country. There's poison in our food. We got rogue police, school shootings. ISIS is cutting people's heads off. We got global warming. Russia invaded the Ukraine. It's like, hey, man, what's going on? Seem a little down. <laughs> Yeah, chilly breeze, man. <laughs> chilly. I'm not making fun of depression, folks. I'm not making fun of depression. Obviously, you're going through it, lady. I am not making fun of it. I've been through it, man. I've been through it. I'm just way too embarrassed by my grammar to ever commit suicide. <laughs> Did you hear that Steve Gillespie killed himself? Yeah, apparently he just couldn't took it anymore. <laughs> Depression, man, it's just boredom. You ever get bored out there, big guy? You ever get bored? Yeah, man, it's boring, isn't it? You got a car? Get that thing, man. Next time you get bored, whole world out there, that's what I do. When I get bored, I get in my car, I drive around, and I find somebody walking on the side of the street. When I do, I pull over, and I roll down my window, and I go, Get in the fucking car! <laughs> and then when he looks over, I'm like, Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> You can only do that to men. Folks, don't do that to women. Or children. Unless you want to be super funny. Oh, if you're not unhappy though, you're not looking hard enough. That's what I think, folks, right? They're coming up with new stuff to be unhappy about, new drugs to fix it every single day. I feel bad for middle-aged dudes, man. I feel bad for you guys. I've seen these testosterone commercials. I've seen them. Apparently, you guys can't even just grow old anymore. You can't just age. It's a medical condition to age now. Have you seen these commercials? They're like, are you old? <laughs> As the days go by, do you get older? <laughs> Did you used to be young and now you're old? <laughs> How old are you again? Gross! <laughs> Better start taking testosterone before your wife figures out that you're not the sex alien you were 25 years ago. It's so stupid. Your dick's fine, buddy, alright? Put the pill bottle down. Come on, bud, your dick's fine, alright? Sure, it's not great, but it's fine. <laughs> You don't even need a big hard dick. That's the whole fallacy of it. You know, there's whole stores 
dedicated to big hard dicks. They just have walls. They have walls of them. Just go pick one out. Just buy one. It lasts forever. You don't even have to be in the room with her anymore. You Is testosterone gonna make your dick vibrate? No, it's not. I can't wait for my libido to go, man. I cannot wait for my dick to stop. Where? How much brain power does that open up? That's gotta open up so much brain power. Start reading. 40 hour work week, okay. Look, I don't wanna brag, folks, and I'm sorry we're making eye contact, lady, but I get a ton of erections. I get way more. I know what to do with. I don't. I don't know. What am I supposed to do with? I. I wish I could give them to dudes that need them. I really do. Like, like an adopt a boner program or a big brother, bigger brother program. I gotta tell you though, folks, I'm getting down on you middle-aged guys, man. I'm getting upset with you guys. You guys have everything. You got money and houses and families. It's so disgusting. Like, ugh. I got nothing. I got credit card debt, my friend's Netflix password. Those are the two things that I have. It's not even his password. It's like his cousins or whatever. We're all using like one of 10 Netflix logins. There's like 10 of them out there. If you have your own Netflix login, you're in the Illuminati. That's what that means. I just missed my calling, man. I've only had customer service jobs and I could never smile enough for those jobs. That's what they always said to me. They're like, you're doing good. You get the job, but you don't smile enough. What is it with Rich people insisting that poor people that work shitty jobs smile while they do it. Can't we just hate you rich people? You already have everything. I miss my calling, man. I missed what I was supposed to be. I should have been a Civil War general. That's what I should have been. I'm serious. I would have been the greatest Civil War general of all time. I would have went up to every, all my troops before every battle. It's like, hey, fellas, this time, Let's hide behind some shit. <laughs> Fight like idiots in the Civil War. It's getting big lines like 50 feet apart, shoot each other in the face for like four straight days. And then we march to the next battle, blowing into trumpets and pounding on drums because they fucking hated surprises in the Civil War. They hated them. Hey, I just want to make sure you know we're coming. Yes, yes, I've got your cannons ready. No, just aim them straight. We'll walk right into them. <laughs> you seem cool, but I like you, but I gotta be honest, man. It's only middle-aged dudes that come up to me after shows and ask me how much money I make doing stand-up. It's only middle-aged dudes that do that. Yeah. And I know why you're asking. Yeah, I know why. Yeah, you want to hear that I'm struggling? Yeah. Yeah, so you feel better about that soul-sucking sales job that you devoted your life to. Yeah, and the woman you married that you don't like. And the kid you had with that woman that you barely like. But you can't put that on me, man. You can't fill the hole in your soul with my problems. Just because I chose to take a different path, take a chance, live with some gamble, live with some fervor, which used to be the most American thing you could do as a man, by the way. Taking a chance, taking a gamble. You used to shove your whole family into a wagon and head out west in the search for gold. Sure, two of your kids would die of dysentery and your wife would get trampled by a buffalo, but at least, at least you call yourself a man. No, now it's my 401k or my health insurance plan. I don't have health insurance. I don't need it. I got car insurance. If I get sick, I'll get into a car accident. <laughs> So if somebody T-bones me, ha! Ah, you broke my leg and gave me testicular cancer. <laughs> you guys have been fantastic. Thank you very, very, very much. I really appreciate it.